on the topic of angle addition formulas, why don't we talk about the double angle formulas and the half angle formulas? Um, so the double angle formulas first. If we want to find sine of 2 theta, um, well, that's really just an angle addition. That's just sine of uh, theta plus theta, uh, which we already know how to take care of. That's just sine theta cos theta plus sine theta cos theta, which is 2 sine theta. Uh, cos theta at the end. almost forgot that one. Um, and cos 2 theta, similarly, if we carry that through, what we already know how to do, cos theta cos theta minus sine theta sine theta, so that's just cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. And then tangent of 2 theta, using our angle addition formula, so that's uh, 10 theta plus 10 theta over 1 minus 10 theta, 10 theta. So that is um, 2 10 theta over 1 minus 10 squared theta. Um, so let's, let's write in our answer. Sine squared theta equals to sine theta cos theta cos 2 theta equals cos squared theta minus sine squared theta and tan squared theta equals 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. These are uh, your double angle formulas. Um, there are also half angle formulas. Um, we've got sine of theta over 2 equals so minus 1 minus cos theta over 2. Um, the plus or minus is going to depend. Uh, you, you actually have to think about your, your angle here. Will this make sine positive or negative? That's not too difficult to think about. Um, cos theta over 2, that's plus or minus 1 plus cos theta over 2. Um, then, so the way we uh, think about this is that um, well, it's kind of easy to remember dividing by 2. Uh, there's also a fraction within here. Um, and then it's just, you've got to decide plus or minus um, for the top. Maybe think about uh, plugging in 0 for theta. Sine of 0, sine of zero that should come out to 0. Um, so this has to be a minus um, for, to, for 1 minus cos 0 to come out to 0. Because uh, cos 0 is 1. Um, so that way, 1 plus cos 0 comes out to 2, and then that makes this thing 1, which matches up with cos, cos um, uh, theta over 2, which goes to 1. Um, so yeah, just think about plugging in 0 for theta, and then just choose the plus or minus, so that works out. Um, oh, and then there's also the tangent of theta over 2, and that's equal to, well, if you just divide sine by cosine of theta over 2, you just do sine theta over 2 over cosine theta over 2, then you just get plus or minus 1 minus cos theta over 1 plus cos theta. And there's your half angle formulas. There we go. Uh, yeah, just more tools to add to your tool belt there.